Hey, welcome back to Random Tasks. Uh, today we are doing uh, part one of an upgrade of a 10 year old MacBook Air. This is a 2013, so actually 11 years old, um, MacBook Air. Bought it new. Uh, it's been great, reliable, um, just always works, but there are a couple things that need to be done. Uh, the battery is uh, doesn't really last that long anymore, so I'm gonna replace that. Um, but to, this video is going to be about replacing the solid state drive. This came with a 120 gigabyte hard drive, um, which isn't really adequate nowadays. Um, I do have a replacement drive right here, which is a 480 gigabyte drive that came from a MacBook Pro, which I did the replacement on earlier in a separate video. Uh, check the description for the link. Um, but first of all, start off pretty obvious shut down the computer. Um, and actually, before you do that, make sure that you back up all your data um, and create a USB boot disk. Uh, the Mac website or the Apple website has a um, good instructions on how to create a USB boot disk. So uh, do that first, back up your data, shut down the computer and get ready to take it apart. So flip over the MacBook and you'll see that there are actually 10 screws going around the edge here. Um, the two in the middle, I guess by the hinge here, are different length. So make sure that when you take them out, you note which ones go where. I've just put some masking tape on a piece of paper. I'm just gonna stick the screws to the appropriate place. Um, but you need a P5 pentalobe tool. It's a kind of a very specialist five-pointed uh, screwdriver um, costs a few pounds off Amazon so a few bucks whatever um, but otherwise fairly straightforward once you have the right tool take out the screws and as I said make sure you note which ones go where okay so once all 10 screws are out basically get your fingers between the back and pry it back it's a great time to also do some dusting um, it's the first time this case has been opened in over 10 years, so a little bit dusty. But once it's open, a couple things. Are, so the actual solid state drive is here, and there's one screw holding it in. Uh, but before we get to that, I do want to disconnect the battery just to prevent any accidental discharge. Okay, so MacBook Air, it's actually fairly simple to disconnect the battery. You don't really need any special tools. There's this clear plastic tab on the battery connector and you just grab a hold of that and pull it towards the front of the computer. Now, what actually just happened there was I pulled on the plastic tab and it just tore right off. So I used my fingernails just to get into the connector just the very edge, I was able to pull it out without too much difficulty. So just in case it happens to you, um, there's a backup. Now to get the solid state drive out, there's one screw, it's a T5 torque screw. Um, so I've got my screwdriver, just gonna take that out, set that aside. And you wanna gently pry that up, not too much just enough so you can get a hold of it and pull it out like that. So that's the, the old drive. So I've got my new one here, or not really new, it's from my other MacBook, but it's four times the capacity, so it should be fine. So got that. And make sure I've got it around the right way. And I'm just gonna stick that in to apply pressure from the back. That's in. Now I'll put the screw back in here. Good. And now put the battery connector back in. And put the case back on. Okay, now the MacBook Pro, it actually clicks in in the middle. This one doesn't. 
Um, so I just place it over and then start putting in some screws in. Now I'm gonna be replacing the battery on this. Uh, so I'm not gonna put all the screws in. I'm just gonna put a couple in to hold the case together. And then um, once I get the computer back up and running after having the new drive, I will then proceed with replacing the battery. Do one thing at a time. So I've got the screws, enough screws back in. I've got my USB boot disk in. So I'll open up the laptop, press the power button, and I'm gonna hold down the Alt or Option key as it boots. There's that familiar sound. Great. It's already picked up. Install Mac OS Big Sur. That's the uh, most recent OS that I can get on this old MacBook. So I'll do that. Um, might get a question, oh, why am I bothering to upgrade these MacBooks? Well, to be honest, they work perfectly fine. 10 years old, work perfectly fine, except for the battery and except that this one needed more drive space. And I'm not one who replaces things just to replace them. If it works fine, I'll keep using it. But, so that's that. I also install the OS and backup from my Time Machine backup. And uh, once that's all up and running, then I can proceed with the next project of replacing the battery. And that'll be another video. In the meantime, hope people found this useful. Uh, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.